Hey what's up YouTube this is Tito Pay and here we are with a Minecraft update and we are broadcasting live from a very hot location right now I'm wearing a wet shirt it looks like I'm one of the people from a wet t-shirt contest it feels really weird right now anyways right now I'm gonna discuss the update about Minecraft which is the 1.6.4 update and Right now it says I'm, I'm using an unlicensed copy, that's because I have my friend using my... I'm playing offline on offline mode so my friend can play with me in a Minecraft server that we made. Anyways, new features. One of the new features is an added support for Nether in multiplayer. And I'll show you that later. The next on the list is... This is... The client will ask if the game is valid, which is in the top left corner says it's unlicensed and we have craftable maps right now I'll show you how to make a map which is really helps in the long run because usually it's usually hard to find your way with a compass around you don't really know much but here we go and to craft a map you have to have eight sheets of paper and you wrap the paper around like this like as if you're building a storage box and then after that you put a compass in the middle and you get a map. Fun fact, when you use a map it's the only item that uses two hands and as you can see it shows off the area and that red marker I'm pretty sure that's the, the area where the map was made and that white marker is the area that I'm headed like this way this would be north, north and it's map 1 it's labeled as the map that people made so so far my friend has made a map so his will be labeled map zero next on the update is that notch has added hatches hatches these are these things and to make those you lay out you lay out six six wooden planks horizontally like this and you will get a hatch and hatches can be used for traps and other things right now I, I was going to make a job bridge but I decided not to and right now I'm gonna put lava or later on I'll put lava down here and it's pretty much anti-mob it's a mob trap or a simple mob trap that is and uh, I'm able to traverse through this area and the mobs they just walk in because it's highly unlikely that the mob will be hugging the wall all the way across this area and even then if they made it across these doors would be shut so they wouldn't be able to get in and next up let's fix this real quick anyways what's next uh... they added tall grass let's look at it tall grass is in some biomes let's go hunting for tall grass what is that? oh that's a zombie and about tall grass you, you can't just hoe or till the soil now because it, they won't produce seeds. You can till the soil to make farmland, but they don't pr produce seeds. You have to find large, gr long grass to. You have to till the long grass, and those will be the ones that will be making the seeds. And right now, let's go look for some long grass. I don't have a hoe right now, so I'm not. I can't really till, till the soil. I can't really do much. Along with that update, uh, mushrooms now spread slowly, which that's a good thing, because back, back, back then it was very hard to find a mushroom, and when you did find one, they usually just disappeared after you used them. Uh, where is, where is that long grass? For the sake of time, I'm gonna stop looking for the long grass, but basically the long grass, it's just a new update. They occur in small patches of grass, and in those patches you can find seeds, as I said earlier. What's next? Uh, server properties. Dead shrubs are now in the desert, which those are basically I haven't seen any before. But since they, there looks like to be there's a desert biome nearby, we could look. 
Or that's not a biome, that's just sand. Never mind. Ah, oh, nice. Desert biome. Alright, we're gonna go look for some dead shrubs. Shrubberies. Along with that new fe along with those new features, blocks destroyed by other players now shows the breaking block effect in multiplayer. Doors make sounds for other players also. Uh, the record player has 15 songs now, but the only two of them are able to be obtained through the record as a record, and those you can obtain those records by usually you can obtain one of them by putting a creeper in front of a skeleton and when you, do, you have to have the skeleton kill the creeper that's pretty woo whoa it's, uh, it's a pretty hard feat to do and my internet is slow right now what was I on? Was yeah, I was looking for dead. I was looking for shrubs, dead shrubs. It might take a while. All right, we're not gonna look for dead shrubs anymore. What's next? Players stuck in wall. So if we get stuck in a wall, you can will be slid towards the nearest gap. And let's see if I can sort of simulate this. I can't really do it. Along with that, we have some new changes in Minecraft. One of those changes are that OpenGL was disabled. That's a graphics part of the game. Um, it is no longer possible to build solid blocks on the top layers which he also notch also had sorry exclamation point and yeah that probably just killed a lot of people's buildings up there but it sucks over there we have monolith if you've seen 2001 a space odyssey yeah that's what it looks like but it's actually a mob trap in there all right booster tracks are now speedier and one thing that I, I did notice are that the regular boosters that we made, the ones that were before the redstone boosters, that they are now obsolete. And let's show you that right now. Along with that, seeds are now fallen. Alright, I just told you that. Compressed networks are now aggressive. And blocks that don't change appearance when the data changes don't send block updates when their data changes now. Arrows shot by players can be picked up by all players too. And writing a nothing re being written can be used to go into the nether. So example, you can't ride a minecart into the nether and it's just not going to work. I'm pretty sure it's never worked in single player either. Alright. Okay, what's next? I'm trying to show you how the regular boosters don't work now compared to the the red redstone boosters and what's next dead shrubs what do those look like i honestly i've never seen a dead shrub so i'm sorry that i couldn't really find any but maybe you'll be able to find one they're usually located in the desert as that's what it says in the update Right here, you have a regular booster. This is a automatic resetting booster, and as you can see here, it doesn't really work anymore. So now we have to use the redstone boosters. That's just one thing that I noticed. I think 
if I don't think I read any of the past updates but maybe that was one of the updates that happened earlier right and now I will end this episode by going into the nether and building another portal and if you've never built another portal this will also be another portal tutorial uh, let's go I'm gonna build the light version of the of the nether portal because the regular version that uses a lot more a lot more obsidian to build the light version of the portal you need pieces of obsidian you can remove those two corners here this one and this one and the, it could total up to a 10 piece 10 pieces of obsidian and this is another portal you just make it in a square a rectangle like this uh, one two three four by three, two, three four. a four by a four by five four by five rectangle with it the short side being the base and to activate the portal you need a f you need to set it on fire by having either a flint of steel and right click and it just sets like that and right now I'll venture into the nether and hopefully I will come out because I have a lot of stuff on me let's go Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo. never been in the, in the nether it's very scary it's not very scary but it's pretty pretty hardcore there are a bunch of mushrooms over there oh, I think I think when you go into the nether you heal automatically and when you same thing when you leave because I just noticed that I was healed for some reason. These people, they're zombie pigmen. And they just really walk around unless you hit them. And they get angry at you. They just go like, oh man. Oh wait, no, that's, that's just a glitch. About the healing thing. It's just the uh, illusion. And it causes your health to look like it's full, but when when you get hurt, you lose your health. And let's use this golden apple to heal. And I'm gonna end this episode right here by killing some zombie pigmen. What is that ghast? I think we need to kill that ghast. That would be a great way to die, being in the nether and being like, oh, oops. right here for real for real for real <laughs>